gonna take that even say it's on site with Tia Fimo Lopez. When he see him, he gonna punch him in his shit. And Tia Fimo don't just don't know it yet. I wanna talk about a potential fight between Javante Tank Davis and Tia Fimo Lopez. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. I'm also live every Sunday mornings with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you could, please join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we do. And hit me up if you want to debate. My email is knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Um, or you can just hit the link when I'm live. You know what I mean? And we can get it cracking right then and there. We ended up having one of the most classic debates uh, that we had, that we done had on the channel between me and BFTB. Um, he pulled up yesterday. So if you ain't had a chance to check that out, man, go check that out. I think it was probably the best Javante Davis, Devin Haney debate on YouTube. And you know I showed up and showed up, but I leave it to you, the viewer, to decide what you think. You know what I mean? But um, Teofimo Lopez, Javante Tank Day. Canelo Alvarez and Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford said that Canelo Alvarez and him is the biggest fight in boxing. There really is only a couple of fights that can rival that, to be honest with you. Um, you think of Canelo Alvarez, David Benavidez. And then comes, honestly, bro, Tank Davis. Versus Tia Fimo Lopez. Now, this, immediately people hear this as you're watching this premiere or watching this video after the premiere. Oh, man, see, this is some bullshit. Tank Davis versus Devin Haney is the biggest fight in boxing. Tank versus Shakur is bigger. Tia Fimo ain't never been on pay-per-view. Tia Fimo only put 5,000 people in the, in the motherfucking venue before. Listen, there's a certain formula that has proven to just explode when it comes to boxing in general, specifically when it comes to Javante Tank Davis. And that formula is very simple. You put Tank Davis in front in front of somebody that's going to pop shit to him, in front of somebody that people who don't like Javante Tank Davis, people who don't like Floyd Mayweather. You put somebody in front of, of Tank that people feel like can beat him. And that person comes from a Latino or South American descent. Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, um, Cubans, uh, shit. Anything Hispanic, anything Latino. You put that person in front of Tank Davis and their fans feel like they have a chance to beat them. That shit gonna be big. And I maintain... That there is a good chance. As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to bet that when it's all said and done and all the dust clears, we get Tank Davis versus Devin Haney. We get Tank Davis, Tia Fimo Lopez. We get Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson. We get these fights. I'm not saying necessarily that Tank Davis and Tia Fimo Lopez will be the better of all the fights, will be the best fight of all of them. Could be top two biggest, though. It has the best chance out of all of them to do somewhere close to what Tank and Ryan did. Tank and Ryan one may be the biggest, most lucrative, um, revenue generating fight of Tank Davis's career. It just might be. The only way is if Ryan somehow builds himself up, fights some top competition, beats a Devin Haney, becomes champion, gets a whole bunch of people believing in him and wanting to, and demanding the rematch then maybe a Tank and Ryan rematch can do more than the first fight. But of the other big names that we discussed, the, the Tia Fimos, the Devin Haney's, the Shakur Stevenson's, Tia Fimo and Tank has a good opportunity to out, outsell Tank and Shakur or Tank and Devin because there's a difference in fan bases. Guys that scour social media and looking for Tia Fimo content, they don't really come around my channel. Because I don't really talk about Tio unless he got a fight coming up. But they got channels that talk about Tia Fimo just as much as we talk about Tank, Devin, Shakur, Earl, Bud over here on this channel. You give that young man a different market. 
You get somebody in front of Tank Davis that some they that's gonna talk shit, that's gonna sell the fight between Tia Fimo Lopez Jr. and Tia Fimo Lopez Sr. You get somebody like that in front of them, that shit gonna be booming. Look at Rolling. After 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 Ryan Garcia rolling, not the best fight. Rolling the second biggest fight that Tank Davis done had when you combine the pay per views in the in the live gate, bro. Why? Because Roley was doing what? He got just enough people to believe. They loved the way that they thought he was clowning Tank. And so they tuned in. They loved the shit that he was talking. They loved the shit that his coach at the time, Coach Bullet, was talking. And now, boom. That shit sells well. So the formula is already there. Devin Haney meets some of the criteria, and it'll still be a big fight. Devin and Tank probably somewhere... 500 to 600,000 pay per view buys, bro. Because they share the same fan base and they market to the same people. As far as in the ring and what this does for Tank, I love the energy, bro. he been going at everybody. Going at Devin Haney. Going at Tiafimo Lopez. I like this shit. I like the. I, I like. I prefer this over. Oh man, I ain't gonna say nobody's name. I'm too good now, nah, bro. Let people know that you ain't to be sc screwed around with, bro. And if it's really like that with Tia Fimo, Tia Fimo get through his opponent today. I love Tank Davis to go up to 140 and try to snatch a belt. Honestly, 140 is the place to be. That's where all the the, the only fight. At 135, really, this something that I just want to see right now would be a fight with Shakur Stevenson for Javante Tank Davis. But if you gave me an option, Shakur or Tia Fimo, shit. Tia Fimo, because I think that'll put you in position for Devin Haney. that puts you in position for, um, for, for that fight, and that's the fight that we all want. But I like hearing Tank talk about Tia, because Tia be trying to get off. See, if female be trying to get off, he be saying slick shit. That's good. That's good. You got to fire back sometimes. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think that Tank Davis, Tia Fimo Lopez can be a big fight? Do you think it'll do big numbers? Do you think it's a bigger fight than Devin Haney and uh, Tank Davis? Do you, do you believe that it's a good thing? That Tank Davis is going at Tia Fimo. Just drop your thoughts all in the comment section. Me, myself, personally, I ain't never got no problem with none of these young fighters going back and forth, giving us something to talk about. Now they got to, now, now they, but they got to, they got to fight. I think 2024 can be a great year. And honestly, whether or not 135 and 140 has a great year in boxing this year, a lot of it's going to depend on what Javante Tank Davis decides to do and who he's going to end up fighting. That's why everybody's impatiently waiting to see who the hell he going to fight. Impatiently waiting to see who the hell he going to fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. I maintain Tank vs. T.O. could be the biggest fight out of all of them. Definitely the one that can get closer to Tio Fimo. I mean, closer to Ryan and Tank. It's my opinion, bro. And it's because of the fan base Tia Fimo brings with the Latinos, the shit talking to him and his daddy. We saw the shit work with Roley and we saw the shit work substantially with Ryan Garcia. And Tia Fimo and his daddy talk way better shit than Ryan Garcia. And they actually have the cachet, unified champion, two division champion, beat Josh Taylor. Beat Vasily Lomachenko. So, all the haters that had that hope for Ryan, oh, they really gonna have that hope for Tia Fima. They really gonna have that hope for Tia Fima. Yeah, they gonna really believe. And that's gonna mean big numbers because you gonna have, Tank gonna bring the people that believe in him. His, his fans, his fan base is solidified because he done broke live gate record after live gate record after live gate record. You fucking with Tank Davis at minimum. You're doing at least a, a five to ten million dollar live gate moving for. He did a five million dollar live gate with Hector Garcia. He broke a record at the bar class with Roland Romero. He sold well at the live gate with Leo Santa Cruz. 
His shit gonna sell. <laughs> his shit gonna sell. Him and Ryan, $25 million at the live game. So his fans coming. But you get them haters. Because, see, haters would be like, man, I watch Tank Davis versus motherfucking Mario Barrios. I watch that shit, but I know Mario Barrios ain't really got a shot. But you put Tank Davis, Tiafimo Lopez. Shit, I'm going to the fight. Tank about to lose. I got to go to the fight to see Tank lose. Then when he go to the fight, they had a poo-poo look on their face. Because <laughs> he done knocked out somebody they thought had a chance against them, bro. That's the formula. That's how that shit gonna go, man. So, that's the other thing that I didn't bring up in the in, in the beginning of the video. Not only the the marketability of them talking shit, the marketability of the of the uh, Latino fan base. Also, it's a huge fight, and it will be a big fight, and possibly bigger than Tank versus Devin because Tiafimo Lopez got some weight to him. He can fight. He rides to big moments. He performed really, really good when it's a big fight. Josh Taylor Lomachenko. He got them credentials. Two division champion. Former unit. Like, he got all the shit that would get people to buy in and be like, man, let me just see Tank lose. So, yeah. Yeah, I like Tank talking that shit. And it puts you in position again. On top of all of that, if you go to the games between him and Devin that they playing, you go to this whole back and forth with that and all that shit, again, I can get to Tia Fimo if I want to before you'll be able to. I can get you I can get to Tia Fimo and I'll get that fight first. Excuse me. Before you'll ever be able to. So this it, it just it's just good on so many levels for him. And it's great for boxing if Tank Davis and Tia Fimo fight. So I'm all for it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash it like I see y'all soon. Peace out.